What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an apartment renovation here in Evergreen Harbor. Um, but before I continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, please. And I will always respond to your comments. So hit up that comment box below. But yeah, like I said, today we're doing an apartment renovation. This is the Pinecrest Apartments. Uh, this is apartment 402. These, This is one of the apartments that was included in the new Eco Lifestyle expansion pack. Um, yeah, I am going for a more industrial pine wood kind of style for this um, apartment. I feel like it really ends up being more eco-friendly than industrial but um yeah the the kitchen is more so um the only industrial bit of this apartment but I wanted to do something along the more industrial line just because every build I've done so far has been um eco-friendly you know more so eco-friendly um yeah so let me know if you think this is industrial or not uh, maybe it's not <laughs> but as you can see i tried to use um just industrial looking things like of course these base game counters look industrial i put the exposed brick in the kitchen to try and make it look industrial um Maybe it's more so rustic than industrial because it, there's a plenty, ooh, excuse me, there's plenty of wood tones everywhere. Uh, like I said, it's kind of like plywood, you know, uh, just exposed wood that hasn't been touched or stained or anything. It's just kind of there. Um, so maybe I'll go with rustic. I don't know. You'll know what I went with whenever you see the title of the video. Uh, so either industrial or rustic, maybe I'll call it like a rustic, uh, a rustic eco apartment instead of industrial. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to go with, but, um, yeah, so now I'm just doing the kitchen, uh, apartment renovations are pretty quick. Um, so you know, like I've been saying, I kind of do this whole thing where I go and furnish every room first and then I come back and clutter them so that you get kind of two views of the room of the rooms. But since it's an apartment renovation and it's smaller, I just kind of cluttered as I went along. Um, I did get inspiration from a photo. That's why you see me putting counters on the wall. I end up, instead of using counters, I end up using cabinets just because they look more sleek and more modern and more like the console table that I was um, kind of going for. Use these paintings from Eco Lifestyle. Absolutely love them. We'll probably use them in every single build from now on, honestly. Um, just because we don't have a lot of good um, wall art in The Sims. Like, I was really disappointed when this pack didn't come with more wall art. Like, even if they had taken this, like, not, you know, when I say wall art, I mean paintings. Like, uh, they have wall decorations um, because this this painting right these paintings right here are technically wall decorations um but i was really upset that this pack didn't come with w more wall paintings uh even if they had taken the separate photos of this object and split it up and made them wall paintings that would have i would have been completely fine with that um i just think that's one of the things that's lacking in the sims is paintings um but you know, we have to deal with it. Um, I'm sure we'll get more eventually. But yeah, I don't know if I said it or not, but this is a studio apartment. So I was just kind of using these cabinets as extra storage space for the Sims that, for the Sim that lives here. Well, it could be Sims because I do put a double bed in the bedroom. So you could have two Sims living here. Um, yeah, so they just keep extra things um, in this, in these, in this little storage console table area over here so as you can see i'm using this fabricated desk from eco lifestyle in order to access a lot of the items from this pack you have to actually go in the debug menu uh, so you just type in bb.show hidden objects and then bb.show well you really only have to do bb.show hidden objects because 
Uh, if you do the other one, which is bb.show live edit objects, that just gives you the objects that are in the world, which is, which is like the plants that you see in the world, the trees in the world and stuff like that, that you can't get in the uh, build and buy menu. But yeah, so bb.show hidden objects and you'll find several different couches, several different uh, chairs and uh, like loves, like, um, like the single love seats or whatever you call them. Um, end tables and just a crap tone of tone <laughs> just a crap ton of things um yeah and and that like i was saying that desk was one of the things you can fabricate on the fabricator um now i am doing the small little living room area this uh apartment definitely could have been a one bedroom uh, as a matter of fact, when I renovated it, it started out as a one bedroom, obviously, because Sims, I mean, they don't have studios in the Sims, at least they don't make them. I guess they could. Um, but yeah, you could easily have made this a one bedroom. You could still like if you download this, you could still close off uh, the wall where the bedroom is and still make it a one bedroom if you just don't want your Sim to live in a studio. I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter. It's The Sims, but um, I just really enjoy creating uh, studio apartments in The Sims because they're small, cheap. Um, they're kind of like a starter home, but in apartment form, if that makes sense. Because um, this is only 26 like it's it's value is only 26,000 and something um which is not fa not too far from an actual starter home so yeah sorry for this pause right here i think my dog was getting into something and i had to go get her um but yeah i am back now so in this corner i just wanted a really leafy plant uh, and this is why I'm saying it's more so rustic than industrial because obviously the sim that lives here is still obsessed with plants uh, because I literally put them everywhere. Everything is wood toned and not and I when I think of rustic, I think of woods and wood tones and all of that stuff. When I think of industrial, I think of metals and stuff like that. Um, so this this coffee table gives me an industrial vibe because it has that metal um, like the 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 feet of the table is is metal so that kind of gives me industrial that pillar or that column that I put on the wall in between the bed not the bedroom the living room and the kitchen that pillar that is kind of industrial because it has that metal finish at the bottom um, so yeah, I, that's what I think of when I think of industrial. But for this apartment, I think it's, it's, it's definitely overrun with just these natural repurposed woods more so than the metals. So I would just, I don't know. I think I am gonna go with more so rustic than industrial. Um, that's Daisy again, as you can hear. <laughs> But yeah, it took me a while to figure out where I wanted to put this table. This is just the high table that came with Tiny Living. I eventually um, go off camera and move that plant over here by the door and move the table, as you can see here where the plant was. And I go ahead and put four chairs there. Um, like I said, at most, maybe two Sims could live here, but I assume maybe he or she um, likes to have friends over and that's why she has enough room or he or she has enough room to host, um, up to, up to two other people or three if, if they, if she, if he or she lives alone. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing this trick that I learned from, I think Dr. Ashley, where she sizes up, um, what are these shelves and just layers them on top of other objects just to make a kind of custom uh, console table or a custom counter or something like that. And I think that just gave that uh, a better finish than um, that stark white finish that it already was. Um, yeah, so, and then I use these eco lifestyle room dividers to kind of separate the living room from the bedroom. 
But as I said, you could easily put an actual wall there and just close it off on the other side and make that a full on um, bedroom. You would just have to put in a door. Uh, so now I'm doing the bathroom and while I'm doing the bathroom, I just wanted to say that this build is on the gallery as we speak. It went up yesterday. Um, and for apartments, you, they have to be uploaded as rooms. But whenever I went back in to do it, it wouldn't let me delete one of the walls in the bathroom um, to make it all one room. So the bathroom is not on the gallery. So whenever you download this build and you place it, or whenever you download this apartment and you place it, you'll see where the bathroom went. Um, and you could either refer back to this video and furnish it the same exact way that I did or furnish it yourself. So I am sorry about that. Um, the everything I'm using two things from university in here and then everything else is from tiny living. So hopefully you have those two packs if you want to replicate it exactly. Um, yeah. So now I, I kind of went with my style of furnishing and then going back to clutter. Cause now I, well, once I finish the bedroom, I'll kind of circle back and finish cluttering things. Um, yeah, so I put this bed in here. It's against the wall, yes, but it has been confirmed. And I've actually seen it happen because I've done it myself. Excuse me, as long as you assign, as long as you assign both sides of the bed, the sim that's on the right side clo closest to the wall, they will actually scoot over. Um, they just have to get in the bed first. So, um, yeah, if, if they're going to bed at the same time, make sure you put the sim that's on the right side in the bed first or whichever side is closest to the wall. In this case, it is the right side, but if you're doing another build and it's the left, then it's the left. But yeah, they just have to get in first and they will definitely scoot over. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I put a whole bunch of these terracotta uh, potted plants in the bedroom and I put this like wicker basket thing filled with like women's lotions and things. And then I put the men's one behind it because I did assume that it was two Sims living here, a uh, boy and a girl possibly. Well, yeah, they have to be a couple if they're sharing a bed. Um, so they're probably a young couple that just moved to um, Evergreen Harbor. I don't really have a storyline for them. Um, maybe they just got out of university and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have a story for them because nothing really spoke to me for this build. I just knew I wanted to renovate one of the apartments. So I just kind of was looking on Pinterest at some different industrial looking studios. And then I just literally went in game and built this or renovated this within like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, not long at all. Um, not to like brag or anything, but I mean, apartments don't take long just because you're not having to do an exterior. You're not having to landscape or anything like that. So they're pretty quick. But yeah, now I'm cluttering up the kitchen. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing I do. Uh, I put this rug and then I put the shoe rack next to it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just I'm just watching it with you to see what else I'm doing trash can obviously and then i think after that i will go in and put the fire alarm and the thermostat yes i'm doing that now because as you all know firefighters will come to your house now if you set something on fire and now i see that the screenshots are rolling so i will see you all in the next one bye